Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at your person, what they're thinking about you at this time, what are their intentions for the near future towards you, towards this connection. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Pisces, what's going on for Pisces in love? What's going on in their connections at this time? Seven of Pentacles, what's going on for Pisces in love at this time? With, between them and their person, what is going on? Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's undecided, unsure, uncertain about maybe taking action, doing something here. Yeah, the King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. And it's because they're worried about the future here, thinking of the future, thinking of the outcome, thinking of the results of this decision. Let's see what this is about. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Devil, Capricorn energy. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? The Emperor, Aries energy. Interesting because the Emperor is not undecisive. It, like the Emperor is decisive by nature. <laughs> The emperor makes the tough decisions. They make the hard decisions. They're already wise from their many years of going to war and being a leader and all of this stuff. So I find it very fascinating that the emperor is here. It could be that um, you're the one that's trying to make a decision about a particular person. Tell me about this two of swords. Maybe you're trying to decide between two people. We'll see. Why is the Two of Swords here? Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is interesting. Two of Pentacles. This is like undecided, back and forth, unsure once again. Oh. You could be dealing with someone that might already be in a commitment because I have the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles here, or perhaps you're wondering if they're already in a commitment. Tell me one more, please, for the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Interesting, it's like you're wondering, or you or this person, because this is what's going on in your connection. You're both here. So both of your energies are here. So take it as it resonates. One of you, <laughs> I feel like one of you is wondering if a situation is gonna balance out, if something that's not very healthy or is, is not very good right now, if it's gonna eventually balance out or resolve itself. Maybe you're wondering if someone is in a commitment Will that be resolved? If you're dealing with someone in a commitment, they might not be sure whether to walk away from that commitment or not as well. I see that. It's like this emperor is unsure, which is very, very weird for an emperor energy to be unsure. So let's say that this is just someone with Aries in their chart or a masculine energy. Maybe they're a bit older. They don't know what to do about the situation they find themselves in. And I feel like it's related to commitment because the Queen of Pentacles is here. And the Queen of Pentacles for me, well, the Queen and King of Pentacles, they tend to already be married or in a long-term commitment. Tell me about this Emperor. Can I get one more please for the Emperor? Why is the Emperor here? What can you tell me about this Emperor's spirit? Page of Cups, feelings, expressing feelings, Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Swords. This could be an apology, um, but I'm getting that this Emperor is very overwhelmed emotionally perhaps, or overwhelmed by what they're feeling, which again, not typical Emperor energy. They don't, emotions don't factor in their decision making. So let's see how you're feeling about each other. Let's get some insight into both of your energies here. I wanna start with the animal spirit. Spirit, tell me more about Pisces and the person they are dealing with at this time. Tell me about Pisces and their person spirit. What do we need to know? 
Pisces, I'm going to have your energies on one side, your person's on the other. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Can you tell me about Pisces? Okay, the mouse. This is um nervous energy. This is someone that's doing a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing, over preparing. <laughs> The mouse focuses on the little things because the big things are a little bit too much for them at this time. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? The lizard. This is kind of like an introverted energy. This is someone that needs to withdraw away from all the noise. Sensitive, they're sensitive. Interesting. So the message I'm getting, okay, and then there's the black egg. So the black egg is about speaking your authentic truth, being truly honest with yourself. I feel like this person, their intuition or something in their life is like, it's it's, it's almost like it's it's like a like I'm picturing like the sun in in your eyes. So like it's it's really you can, they can't ignore what they're thinking about or what's come to mind. Maybe they're having a personal awakening here. Maybe they're, the truth is staring at them in the face, that kind of energy. Let's see what else we got. Can I get one more, please? Can I get one more, please, for Pisces and the person spirit? Can I get one more, please, for Pisces and the person? Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. I think you're worried about something with this mouse. Divine timing, trust in divine timing, faith, fortune, destiny. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Are you waiting for someone? Unhealthy attachment. Yeah, this person's attached, has bonds, Toxicity, codependency. Interesting. I feel like you know that they're already in, a, in an attachment, though. Tell me more for Pisces. Tell me more for Pisces and their person. What's going on for Pisces and their person, Spirit? What's going on for Pisces and their person? Destiny will help us find each other. Tell me about Pisces, person. I have learned from my mistakes. Yeah, it's almost like they're, this person's having almost like a like an awakening or a realization in their life. Um, I want to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck as well. I feel like I've been neglecting it a little bit. <laughs> if you're interested in any of my decks, by the way, they are linked in the description box. If you want to check them out. Can I get one more, please? One more energy for Pisces and their person spirit. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces spirit. Just the energies and this connection. I'm having doubts. Yeah, you're worried about something, Pisces. You're maybe you're having doubts that you will eventually reunite with this person, that the problems will resolve between you, that something is gonna happen here between you and this person. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with, spirit. Tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with. I'm working on myself. Okay, so this person, I feel like, please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person, perhaps, they got themselves into a situation and are learning their mistake now. Or learning about that mistake now. Having a realization about that mistake. Um, it's very interesting. Because I feel like you are concerned about what this person has going on and i wonder if it's because there is a third party or some sort of situation that has become unhealthy for your person maybe they 
have addictions or are not coping well or have toxic family members or whatever. Fill in the blank. But I feel like you're worried because that attachment is keeping them there. Because you're wondering if you're ever going to be with this person again. If that's resonating for you, Pisces, then feel free to leave a comment down below. All right, let's see. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Six of Pentacles. What's going on with Pisces? Knight of Pentacles. What's going on with Pisces? King of Pentacles. I feel like you're... Um, I don't think you're getting what you need. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn. It does not have to be, but... I feel like this King of Pentacles, you, your eye is on this King of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. I picture you here. Um, you want balance. You want something to be made right. And I wonder why things aren't being made right right now. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles. What about the six? Two of swords. So someone here I feel is keeping you like waiting or um, is undecisive or un un unsure of their decision. The two of swords came up. So I'm thinking of the emperor. There's a ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is like, yeah, this is about that emperor energy. I think if this emperor were to make this difficult decision, they would have to put in a lot of effort, a lot of work here, a lot of time. Because they're dealing with something that's weighed them down for a long time. This could be some sort of burden or obligation or responsibilities that they have. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Swords. You want the truth from this person. I heard truth. Uh, maybe they haven't been very honest with you about something or haven't spoken to you about something because I feel like you need to hear something from this person. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? I feel like you want a long-term commitment with this person. Yeah. Yeah temperance Sagittarius energy I feel like you've waited for this person maybe because of the potential between you maybe because this is a very strong connection or you feel like this is the person you could be with long term like yeah ace of wands at the bottom of the deck four of wands yeah knight of cups nine of cups yeah this is I feel who you think you belong with or need to be with or want to be with but I feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting because the Two of Swords is here, Temperance is here, Knight of Pentacles takes forever. Can I get some insight into this Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords? Can I get some insight, please? Knight of Wands. Can I get some insight, please, into this Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords? Why is the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Swords here? The High Priestess. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. Well, the High Priestess is a card about like secrets, spiritual knowledge. They hold the key to something very special. Very intuitive. So why the Knight of Wands with the High Priestess? Because the Knight of Wands is a card about, the energy is all about moving quickly towards something, being motivated, being bold, impulsive, 
passionate. I feel like this is somebody that wants a new beginning desperately here. Yeah, but then there's Seven of Wands and the Moon Pisces energy. There's doubts here. I feel like what you're thinking about is almost like why someone has not taken action. Um, why has there been almost like um, like a hesitation or someone slowing down? I feel like you're in the dark with the moon and the high priestess. Why haven't they done something? Why, ha why haven't they taken action? What's taking so long here? Why are they so indecisive? Something like that. But I feel like as you think about that, you still hold on here. You still wait. Tell me about Pisces person. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Tell me, sir, about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Ten of Wands. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Two of Cups. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Ten of Swords. Wow, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Very difficult energy with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. This is an ending, a difficult ending that I feel is coming. When I see the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords, I feel like something that's been a long time coming finally comes, you know, and I feel it's an ending. Because that's t this Ten of Wands is a card about almost getting to your destination so that you can drop these wands that have been burdening you for so long. And so I feel like when this these wands are dropped, it's going to lead to an ending here. Now the Two of Cups tells me this has something to do with a partnership. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. The Chariot. Cancer Energy and then the Three of Pentacles. So I feel that this is possibly a situation where someone leaves a commitment or leaves a burden, leaves a partner. I see them moving away, moving on, moving forward. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Five of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Ten of Wands and Five of Swords kept coming out together, and here they are. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Seven of Cups. Conflict, illusions, deception, eight of cups. Yeah, this person's leaving a partner. Your person is leaving a partner. Of course, flip it if it resonates more for you, but this is what I'm seeing. Someone's walking away from already what existed, I think. Something that was maybe very um, not the healthiest or not the most stable or not the most um, true connection. What are this person's true intentions or next actions? What are this person's true intentions or next actions? Four of Cups, what are their true intentions or next actions? One more please, Spirit. What are their true intentions or next actions? The Fool. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that's going to take a leap of faith here, a risk. Now, the Four of Cups tells me that um, they're not happy where they're at. Um, they're checked out, possibly. Um, I'm also getting very back and forth energy because I feel like the Four of Cups and the Fool are completely different. The Four of Cups is close to a new opportunity because they don't see it. The Fool is can't wait for this new opportunity. Like They're ready to just go. See where this goes, right? So I feel like this person could be going back and forth here with the, between the Fool and the Four of Cups. But I also see that they might be very unhappy, bored, dissatisfied, and that might propel them to make a leap of faith or take a risk. And I feel like that's more the case because of the other energies here. This person's walking away from whoever they're with. I mean, that's very clear. And they're going somewhere else. 
If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing uh, to see more videos from me. And of course, leave a comment if you'd like to say hi or share how the story resonated. I do love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.